Hey everyone, <coughs> Gresham's Beforehead here, a new Bethany's Boulevard. I wanted to review Grand Theft Auto 5, but since Movie Maker is being a bitch, I'm gonna make it really, really short instead of really, really long, because it won't let me do anything past 8 minutes. But, the game, I want to I wanna make it a really long review, I wanted to make it at least 20 minutes or so, but since Movie Maker has fucked me over three times, I'm giving it its final shot. We have the Dota 5. <clears throat> For me, it's a 10 out of 10. It is a total 10 out of 10. There's so many things that have been brought back from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas that make it really good. The story is amazing. You get with a lot of characters. You, well, you get Trevor Franklin and Michael you can play as. And this is for the first time <coughs> in the game series, I think maybe in history, maybe, I'm not sure, that you can switch to different characters at different times. You can switch to, say you're playing as Michael, you can switch to Franklin, or if you're playing as Franklin, you can switch to Trevor, or Michael, and vice versa. <coughs> but, the story is quite crazy. There's a bunch of heists you gotta do, there's a, the prologue in the beginning is pretty nuts. And, um, also, <clears throat> the whole entire story and whatnot, it's pretty nuts. The ending, there's three choices at the end. Franklin has a choice of what he can do. I'm not going to get into detail, but you can either choose to kill one of your protagonists, you can choose to kill the other, or you can choose to save them both and take out the antagonists of the game, basically. <clears throat> I usually go with option C, which is taking out the antagonist and saving yourselves. Because it's, in my opinion, it's the most, it's more like a real GTA 4, like a GTA ending, and also, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. That, I did not really expect coming. That's why I said excuse me. But, the ending, I really go for option C because it feels more like a GTA ending. It feels more conclusive. <clears throat> and with, also, the game itself is pretty darn crazy. But, the main story is pretty darn good. But, when we get into, <clears throat> sorry, if we get into GTA Online, it's multiplayer system. That's when the fun really begins, because you're basically starting from scratch, out of nowhere, I guess. I don't know where you're coming from in the game, and for the online, you could be coming from wherever, you're going into Lost Towns for the first time, and you just have to work your way up, in a way, in the criminal empire. You get jobs from Trevor, some other people like Martin Madrazo. I'm not really matching a lot of the characters in the main story, only because of freaking movie maker pissing me off. But you get a lot of <clears throat> you get a lot of various jobs from many people. You just don't get to see Franklin, Michael that I know of. I know you get to see Trevor a few times, but you don't get to really meet any other people in the game. And yeah, with the main story itself and with the main game, except without the, without GTA Online, I had to give Grand Theft Auto Five right here. A 10 out of 10. There's not many things that are wrong with this. There are many things, there's some things that kind of get annoying, but this was like earlier when it first came out in September of last year when there was like issues with the social club and whatnot. <clears throat> but with online, I have to give that, if you really want to try it, Go ahead and try it for yourself, but I have to give it a 7 out of 10. I'm not saying it sucks. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that Rockstar is gone with cloud saving and whatnot. And there's some things that you just, once you use them, like if you use the Snapmatic camera feature, you won't really be able to delete some of your pictures if you, if you, even if you try, which sucks. So, there's that, and then there's the issue, in my opinion, there's the issue with, um, like, there's some things that do give me issues. 
Like sometimes there would be glitches where your cars are disappeared. Your car may get destroyed by a tank, and now that's your car, etc., etc., etc. But yeah. GTA Online is an interesting experience if you want to try it. Go ahead and try it once you get the game, because it is free. But there's some DLC that came out as well. There's the Beach Mom update, there was the Valentine's Day Massacre update, which was only around for a limited time. There's a Christmas update that would only around for like a few days. And then there's the business update. But soon, I definitely think they will be bringing this out, maybe in the next patch or so. They will be bringing out heist for Grand Theft Auto Online, because in GTA 4, you, well, not 5, you get to do some pretty audacious heists, <coughs> but in online, you're supposed to plan them out properly, and once they're planned out completely, that's when, boom, you can get them done and get them major buku bucks. But yeah, I definitely think I should get off of here, and I will see you guys on the next Betson's Boulevard video. This is me, Grant on the forehead. With Gathered Auto 5 and Gathered Auto Online forever.